Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. So I'm hearing that figuring out how to arrange your art pieces is sometimes more daunting than actually choosing them in the first place. So what do you do when you actually have those gorgeous pieces in hand that you just had to have? Do they make it up on the wall or do they sit in the original packaging in the corner longing to be noticed? Let them out to breathe. Love them every minute and let them inspire you the way they did when you first saw them. Now, different people have different tastes, different needs, and different space, so I'll be making a series of videos to give you some tips on how to get started with different layouts. In this short video, I'll show you how easy it is to grow a collage style collection right on the wall, whether you only have a few pieces or a large number. Now I like to build my arrangements around a unifying theme. You could choose all one palette, like various shades of green, or all one subject matter, like images of water or people, whatever, it's up to you. The important thing is to put the right energy into your space. You have to remember, you're going to be constantly absorbing your surroundings, whether you notice them consciously or not. So be sure to choose pieces that inspire you, reinforce the way you want to feel, or ideas that you want to hold on to. So for this wall, I chose to do a transitional collection that'll take me from one season into the next. I'm starting off with some sweet mementos of summer that can be changed out one by one as the autumn progresses. See, for me, the change of seasons is a powerful push to refresh my space. But inspiration can come from anywhere, a life change, for instance, or redoing your decor, or just because you feel it's time. At any rate, switching out even just a few items can make your art arrangements take on a whole new life and meaning. And prints are really great for this. You still get the beautiful vivid color, but the smaller size makes them flexible, affordable, and easily interchangeable. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with a print of one of my favorite images, Wisdom and Grace, and add it to my anchor piece. In this case, I'm going to use my large framed original, Breathe, as a focal point. As you can see, I've used the pockets created by the natural angles of the frames to work additional pieces into the arrangement. Don't be afraid to add family photos, memorabilia, or complimentary decor items to help your collection blossom into shape. How large it grows is really up to you. And don't forget, there are plenty of originals and prints to feed your art collection available at efgrace.com. So I hope these tips work for you. Feel free to drop me a line if you have any questions or feedback, and keep an eye out for more art videos from EF Grace. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.